Okay, so this is October uh, 4th of 2024. It's the next day. My video cut out. I guess I turned it off by accident when I moved the camera. So anyway, it's converting over now. As is. So I am making another order for that plum juice. And I'm going to order some of these pudding cups, which honestly, I've been trying to avoid because of the ingredients that they put inside them but I just don't have time to be making pudding at this point right and you need room in the fridge and just whatever so I'm going to compromise and it just so happens these things are on sale I don't know I'm looking for my regular glasses that I use for the computer here and I I don't see them here. What the heck? These ones aren't that great. They kind of hurt my eyes, but we'll just use these ones for now. The ones I'm wearing are good for that computer, but not necessarily this one. Anyway, this is a, a mango pudding. If you notice, it says mango flavor. Uh, now, I got a lot of canned mango. So if you can make mango pudding, then I'm pretty sure I can figure out a way how to make mango pudding myself at home when I get more organized. Because pudding itself in general, you can make a pre-mix and put it in a jar and then make pudding from that as you go about your daily business over a course of a month or two or whatever, right? But I'm not there yet with that part of whatever it is that I'm trying to do here. Although I'll put that on the to-do list with the, and, and there's not that many ingredients to make a, a pudding powder your own and then proceed to mix it up when you need it, right? I don't remember what the ingredients are or what the ratio is at this point, but I'll just Google it. Now I do have pudding in a box that you can either blend up and then put in the fridge or you can cook it up, right? Again, I don't have time to be mucking with pudding right now and putting a bunch of little containers in my fridge because I've been using my fridge for other things. All right, so anyway, I'm looking at the ingredients and you know, they, they come in with, with all this stuff that, you know, like, well, citric acid is not so bad. The color contains, right? Uh, concentrated mango juice, milk powder, I don't know what that is, vegetable oil, artificial flavors, either or, I look, I always, I always look at the um, nutrient value and like, right, and then of course the calorie because it's always being held over my head as if it's a, you know, execution date, right, so a hundred, a hundred calories per cup, which is 118 grams. Um, in terms of the ingredients, I guess it doesn't look like diced, diced uh, mangoes, milk, they've listed it, well, I don't even know what that is, something acid, probably because of the mango, right? Um, coconut milk water anyway I don't know how much these ones are these ones are not on sale they're five dollars each so we'll try one we'll try one because I'm ordering other ones right which I've been reluctant to do like these kind because I don't necessarily like the ingredients in them, right? But, you know, I just don't have time to make puddings right now, people. So I'm just going to cut to the chase and keep it easy on myself. Because I am ordering more plum juice. Okay, now look at this. This is what I mean. Uh, okay, so which one is this? This one is snack pack pudding chocolate 
Now it's going to have a bit more calories because of the cocoa. But you got to be careful with cocoa, right? Because it can create um, seizures for some people if you eat too much chocolate or cocoa. And it has a bit more nutrients because of the cocoa. Okay? And a little higher in cal calories because of the cocoa. Anyway, water, skim milk from concentrated, from concentrate, water, concentrate, skim milk, sugar, modified cornstarch, modified palm oil, cocoa, right? That's what gives you the calories and the extra nutrients. Salt, sodium, I don't even know what that is, people. It makes me nervous. Natural and artificial flavors. Artificial flavors could mean anything. Uh, contains milk. Okay, so anyway. I got six of those. I should probably pick up. Because there's you get three for six bucks. So two dollars each. So for right now, just to keep it easy on myself and Andre. Because Andre, I'm going to get on. You know, like Andre is stepping up to the plate more. Learning how to look after Amari a bit more. It's started to change him. He can change his pants. He can do his shirt. Right? You know, so. Anyway, and then going down the line here. Right? Looking to see. Like I said, now I do have... I do have the boxes, but... I don't have time to be blending it up or cooking it or whatever and putting it in the fridge with a bunch of little, little whatever. So I'm just going to do it this way for now. And then when things clear out more and I'm more caught up with the things that I'm doing, then yeah, we'll get into homemade puddings, homemade rice puddings, homemade tapioca pudding, perhaps homemade bread pudding, right? So I'm kind of cheating here. But... See, I have these kind. I have a whole bunch. I already did that run. They're in my bedroom. I just haven't done them up. And then, President Choice creamed rice pudding. For, it's in a can. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um. For convenience purposes right now, okay, it's 400, 400, 400 grams in the can. And then if we go into ingredients, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and I've been up since 5 because Amari wakes up or I wake up. And then if I wake up, Amari definitely wakes up. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> He's being quiet right now. <clears throat> Maybe he'll go back to sleep. But now, because I've been up since five, that's that's three hours, and I'm already getting tired, right? Okay, so you can see there's not a lot of nutrients in it. Iron, just the 1% in terms of what they're listing. Right? But that, that could be combined with something else, perhaps. Like, I can... I can take half of that can, put in a uh, a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I don't really like to go full as a tablespoon, but at least a teaspoon of uh, coca coconut butter, which is high in calories. I can add in a uh, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of honey. If I go up to as high as a tablespoon, then that's 60 calories, right? So I and and then I'm bringing in other nutrients, right? And then I blend it up, right? I could add in maybe some cashew nuts or something to add in extra protein and right hemp seeds would be good to add in with this so this would probably work out pretty good and in terms of calories you're looking at 140 calories um per 130 grams how much that would come out to in a bowl i don't know you know but so yeah definitely I'm gonna get 10 of those to start with I should probably buy more but we'll just start with them first right so I got 10 of those mm-hmm 
because I'm adding on to what I'm doing, but I'm kind of just making it just a little easier on myself. Not everything I can make right now. Obviously, if I make it at home, it's more nutritional. A lot of the things I have is organic, right? I control what's going on inside. It's at $4 a can. Obviously, if I make it at home, where am I? It would be cheaper, but for now, we'll just do it this way. And I'm going down the line. Uh, what else did I... I think I got a couple of tapioca things here, which, again... It's a hit and miss. Right. I get this delivered today. And then it will be easy for me to say, Andre, go and get, uh, oh, here we go, rice pudding tubs, two for $8. Let's see what that is. That one goes in the fridge. So how well they, how long they stay in the fridge for, I don't know. Uh, we'll go into nutritional facts. Let's see. 130 calories per half cup. Right? What's I always look at the ingredients. Partially skimmed milk, rice, sugar, liquid, whole egg, salt, natural flavors, contains milk, egg. So that's pretty simple. When it's simple like that, that's what I like. Right? And because it's more simple, you can see that the ca calcium count went up and we got a little extra iron in there, right? Okay. Now, I don't know how to read a lot of this. It apparently, it has no sugar content. Um, I don't... I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to read saturated fats, trans fats, carbohydrates, just whatever, right? I don't worry about that stuff too much. Okay, so we'll try two of those just for the sake of trying them. multi is two for $8. I don't know how long they stay in the fridge for. So, but we'll get two because that's more nutritional than, uh, because it has less preservatives in it, in my opinion. All right, and then they've got, what's this? Tapioca pudding tub. So they've got that as well. So we got the rice and the tapioca. Because I always planned on making these things. Just don't have the time, people. I still have to go wash all those outfits, not including what I've been coming across as I'm digging through my fabrics and taking them out. And I'm finding beautiful things that <laughs> are already made. Just, you know, I'm freshen them up and, you know, and eventually, yeah. So, okay, let's just focus on this. Um, nutritional facts. Right, the more I can keep the ingredients to the bare bones in terms of less preservatives, the happier I am for Amari. Okay, so a half a cup we're looking at again 130 calories, so I suppose that's not so bad. Partially skim milk, sugar, tapioca liquid, egg white, modified tapioca starch, natural flavors, salt. When anytime you're getting into colors. You have to be concerned because, you know, these things are not necessarily good for you. Contains milk and egg, but we can't have everything that we want. So two for eight dollars. So I'm going to get two of them anyway. All right. And I can use these as I'm working on Amari's cookbook to build in the base. Now, whether whether people go off and buy these things and incorporate it into the recipe or whether they go out of their way to make the rice pudding themselves or the tapioca pudding themselves or whatever it is, you know, because once I do it, then I'll have my little recipe in there in terms of this is how you make rice pudding, this is how you do this, this is what you do, blah, 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 because, you know, you get a disabled child and they don't come with a manual. They don't. <laughs> What is this? Tapioca pudding cups. Uh, I looked at those. I'm not... I, did I get one? Oh, I got two. Okay. So some are in the fridge, some are not. Right? And of course I'm stocking up so I don't have to worry about it. Right? At least for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rice pudding cups. Oh, I'm, I don't mind sugar. Um, not even trying to go down the route of making it where it's bland. Although, I can add extra honey in it if I wanted to. Sugar is not as concerning to me 
as it is a lot of those preservatives. So yeah, I have these. I just don't have the room in my fridge to make a whole bunch at one time. I have to get more into a routine of some kind. and I haven't quite gotten there yet. Like I said, come December, January, I want to bring my food bill down to a hundred bucks a month at least for a half a year. Unless, of course, I need to stock up with juice or, you know, I mean, obviously, if, if uh, I'd have the amount of money that I spend on this organic juice <laughs> would take up my food budget of a hundred dollars. So, uh, who am I fooling? Because I don't think I'll stop buying this prune juice. No, so I got a few. I don't need a whole bunch, right? Because you're getting into your colors and you know your food colors and just ugh. so I'm I'm just looking for very simple generic puddings. And I'm going to show you how quickly this adds up, as if you wouldn't know because you know because you shop. And this is why I get upset with my stuff being thrown out, including food downstairs, because I know some of it's missing. Because, you know, I don't know, it's not moving. Here, let's go to number three. I keep seeing the same crap. Yeah. So they don't even have a very large selection. Where are we? Yeah, they don't even have a very large selection brought me back to one so forget it so now we, we got 43 items and you're gonna see how fast this added up for me this is my order for today basically just for Amari $174 how is that even possible what the fuck did I buy for $174 in terms of pudding and then you wonder why I want to make it myself not to mention the quality of the of the food making it yourself now I'm not kidding do you see where am I do you see this organic juice prune uh, pure prune and then I'm going to take you in there and I'm going to show you the ingredients and the nutritional value on this and then you'll understand why I buy it I'm getting five of them now I do have some in my room but that's back up okay these ones I'm going to keep out real close because he's going through a bottle uh, every three days. If I stretch it out, maybe four. And then I give him cranberry juice, right, as well. But mainly this right now because of the pooing situation. Look how much it is. Just for five bottles. So what I should do is I should budget out in my monthly budget now that it's on my mind because this would be considered a staple for Amari right I don't think five bottles would last me a month mm -mm. maybe two weeks maybe like if I stretched it out right because you know I have to balance things out right okay so anyway sixty two dollars there and then we've got the butterscotch pudding, which I'm not too happy with because of the color and the other added preservatives. But right now they're cheap, right? So for three dollars, for three you pay uh, three three. You get three for six bucks, two dollars each, right? So for six of them I get twelve, right? Tapioca cups. Okay, nine dollars, two cups or two boxes, nine dollars. Creamy rice pudding, I'm gonna get ten cans so I have them on hand. If I like it, I'll buy more. Preferably, it would be good if I can get into a routine of making my own, to which I got tons of rice in the house. I bought the condensed cream cans. I've got, okay, so we know it's just a matter of time, but not right now. So for 40 bucks, it's worth it for me as a supplement to what I'm doing because I don't cook with a lot of rice right now and then we got the snack pack vanilla twelve dollars snack pack chocolate okay which has a bit more nutrition 
in terms of what was it calcium and iron right because of the cocoa and just a tad bit more uh, calories right and Andre I sent Andre to the grocery store to go buy one and um, what do you call it I don't know how much he paid for it too much in my opinion where he went and uh, yeah So I'm gonna get and I'm gonna get some extra ones for Andre. Yeah. There. Okay. Did it take? Yeah. So twenty-four dollars for twelve packs of the chocolate. All right. Putting mango flavor, we're just going to try it because it has little pieces of mango. Plus, when I make pudding, I've got mango in cans that I can incorporate into pudding. So I'm just trying it out. That's at $5. Okay. Rice pudding tubs it had less preservatives, seemed more natural, made more sense. So I'm going to get the two that are on sale for 8 bucks. The tapioca, same thing, right? Eight bucks. Look how much that is. Look how much that is just for that. But because I don't need to buy a lot of things, people, per se, I can do it this way. And then once I have it, you know, I can, I don't know how, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to go through it. If I let Andre start eating it, like the Mad Dickens, you know it's going to be gone ASAP. But I put this in my, I'll put this in my room. Andre will get a cup every now and then. And, uh, but this is mainly for Amari, right? But I should add in a little extra for Andre, because I know he'll eat these things. And like Alea May is coming over. Well, Kyrie's kind of allergic to milk, but Tisha's been giving him milk products a bit, so. I bought tons of coconut cream, milk, whatever, to make ice cream for Kyrie, and uh, puddings and stuff, right? So whether I make puddings with milk or whether I make puddings with coconut milk doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of getting my life in order, and, you know, <laughs> Yeah, so we're just going to get a f for Andre as well, a little bit. Spending money on pudding, like, come on, people. Anyway, okay, so now it's a 186 just for that. Yeah. How this will be gone fast. Oh, yeah. The puddings, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm using the pudding as a snack in between meals to give Amari, quote unquote, those extra calories, right? And I'm assuming that they would be fairly easy to digest. And they're already pureed <laughs> for the most part, except for maybe the tapioca pudding and the rice pudding, which would be easy enough to run it through a blender. And for some of these things, especially these ones like the rice pudding in a tub and the tapioca pudding in a tub, I could add in extra ingredients like the honey, the coconut butter. You know, I can grind up cashew nuts or maybe some flaxseed or definitely hemp seeds to bring up the calorie count right but I don't know how well and how long these things last in the fridge for I'm pretty sure these go in the fridge so I'm just gonna stick with those for now and try it out and see how it goes so let me just see if there's anything else in here that I'd want the only thing that I would want right now out of this whole freaking grocery store would be oh wait I don't even need to do that would be they have green giant uh, canned vegetables on sale right now. <laughs> and instead of being $1.99 a can, it's at $1.27 if you buy four. 
so I'm going to buy four more cans of didn't really like the peas last night although uh, Marty did Andre wanted cream corn and I do have a lot of that because I stocked up on that right so right now they have they, they should have their uh, green giant vegetables yeah you see see limit of four for a dollar twenty nine so I save myself two dollars or whatever it is versus a dollar ninety nine sweet cream corn which is actually the one with the highest highest calorie count I have a fair amount of corn I know I have peas around the house but I with everything being moved around I don't know where they are right now so I had to go off and buy some more I bought 10 cans and then I picked up four more and obviously Amari liked them but Cream corn is the one with the higher calorie count compared to the peas. Mm. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm choosing the peas because they're easy to digest. I'm thinking they're easier to... Uh, um, digest than corn. So anytime I can get my little bit of savings, and since I'm ordering, I might as well get it now. But there's really not too much else that I want because I just don't want it. Because I, I ordered yesterday, right? So, limit of four peas and carrots, no. Sweetlet peas. Let's just get regular green giant peas. Let's see. Summer sweet peas. Uh, see, previously purchased. I just purchased that yesterday. <laughs> and I'm already getting a headache. I've been getting a headache every day for the last four or five days. Uh, I haven't started my day yet. I'm going to can that turkey in small jars for Amari. Not all of it, just, I don't know, maybe 12 little jars, we'll see. Half of it, half of whatever I cooked up last night is being canned. I made a bone broth with a ham bone in it. Like I took turkey bones and then a ham bone from the freezer and I made a bone broth, so I'm gonna can it in bone broth. And then I bought um, asparagus because apparently asparagus it's easy on the digestive system, doesn't produce a lot of gas, right? Because you have to be careful that he doesn't get too gassy with some of the things. I mean, you're not only looking at constipation, but you're looking at gas. You're looking at how things digest, how they break down in the digestive tract. And, oh, my God, like, you don't even know people. Like, it's so freaking frustrating. Like, so frustrating. It's always been frustrating. And then it doesn't help when you've got people breathing down your back, right? Anyway, we'll just get four more cans of peas because they're on sale right now. Uh. Okay, so hold on a minute. Okay, so $191 is the subtotal just for the pudding and the drink. <laughs> and the four cans of peas. Okay, I I get a grand total savings of two dollars and eighty cents, but whatever it is, what it is, I don't always shop for savings, but then there's times I do, and then additional fees dollar twenty five. Okay, now I'm on a promo where I don't have to pay delivery, which I'm kind of liking. Now you can pay I think ninety nine dollars for the whole year, and you can have as many deliveries as you want. But, you, you know, you still kind of pay tips in there, right? Um, I'm trying to bring down my food bill, not bring it up. So, I don't know. I, I like the idea of not always having to pay delivery fee because I order quite a bit online. And uh, so, I might consider ending up, ended up, end, I might consider ending up purchasing that service 
where I don't have to pay and I just can do whatever I want over a course of a year and do smaller shops when the time comes because I'm getting kind of tired of these bigger shops <laughs> you know it's costing a lot of money it's keeping me in debt but besides that point anyway driver tip five bucks so I don't have to pay for delivery fee at this point so that's okay although they're still charging me a dollar twenty five for something now my total bill is hundred and ninety seven dollars just for what I bought which was nothing nothing seriously nothing and I'm not redeeming my 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 points because I've been collecting my points you can see if I wanted to I could take a hundred dollars off of my bill and it would be ninety seven dollars right but right now I'm I'm just collecting them saving them for a shop when I just maybe don't have money, maybe don't have a credit card, maxed out, who knows, right? Emergency, or maybe I'll just want to do it one day. But for now, I'm just not doing it. <sighs> I am going to place the order, people. <laughs> All right. Now, what we're going to do is I did buy this and I'm going to show you okay organic seven seas vegetable blends it was quite expensive they don't have the, the price here let's see if we can maybe get into a different email where they priced it out this was expensive uh, let's see mm. Maybe here. Yeah. What have I done? How much was my bill? Oh my god. Something's wrong here. Oh no. Well, maybe I just did it anyway, people. Yeah, you know how I justified this? I'll tell you how I justified it. This is crazy. Okay, now I know I have some of this around the house. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I sure in the fuck didn't pay that for it, but I did this time. I did this time. They have different seven, seven different types of seaweeds in this seaweed blend. Like I said, seaweed doesn't go bad. And they have iodine and all kinds of earth elements and blah, 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 blah. blah. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I think I found a jar downstairs and I brought it up I think either or remember I was telling you I've got those brown colored mason jars to protect food this is only five pounds that's not a lot okay for a hundred and seventy one dollars but I was looking at iodine drops right in terms of you know because you don't get enough iodine in your body through your diet anymore because everything's so processed and you know the ground is over cultivated and blah 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 okay so I had a choice of spending either a hundred dollars on iodine drops and maybe try and experiment with that so everybody could get a little more iodine in their diet or I chose to go this route, which is more natural. Now it's not the iodine that's in the ground in a crystal form, but still, right? It's good for you. And uh, so, yeah, that's how I justified it. Instead of buying the iodine drops for a hundred bucks or whatever it was I was going to pay after it was all said and done, I chose to do this because I already knew I had the jars to jar it up and store it away upstairs out of sight out of mind for a long 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 time with it being vacuum sealed and it's good to go for years right and then of course as I'm working with, with food Amari's food and our food you know Amari will just get little pinches right because he's little right where Andre and I we should get bigger pinches 
I'm just saying. But, yeah, I, I, I kind of remember contemplating on that one, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, Judy, that's, that's a bit extreme. But, at the end of the day, you know, the way the world is going, you're going to need that iodine. People are going to need that iodine in their, in their diets, and, you know, this is just a good way to do it. So, anyway, I bought that. I said, fuck it. So, I don't have to buy iodine drops for internal use, but I wouldn't mind buying iodine for tropical use, which is on the skin in the event of, right? So I will do that at some point. But I'm not going to buy for internal. And then I got the, the organic quinoa white, which I already have in the house. But I'm just... I know exactly what I'm going to do with it when it comes. I got a couple of big jars that have some old flour in it, so I'm going to take out the old flour, put them in a bag, if they're still good, yeah, okay, whatever, I'll still use it. But other than that, I'm going to take the big jar that I have already on my counter and I'm going to fill it up with that. And then the rest will be put in Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber and tucked away somewhere. And I do, I have, I have tricolored quinoa, I have black quinoa, and I also have white quinoa. So it's not like I don't have it. I just... Because this is going to be a staple. Because there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And it's not a grain, it's a seed. You can actually even sprout these. Which I probably will try to do at some point. So, and of course, Mari's on my mind, right? And I know exactly what jar I'm going to put them on in. That's already on my counter. And it's a big jar, so it's it will encourage me to use it regularly. That was the point, right? And then, of course, organic cantatelli beans, because you can't really find cantatelli beans. Well, you can't. You never find them in the grocery store. Maybe you might find them in a can, but I don't want them in a can. And I do have cantatelli beans in the house. I think I've got some in my room in those two-gallon buckets. I know I've got great northern white beans, and I know I have both Great Northern White Beans and Cantatelli Beans downstairs, but I don't want to be digging around. And because i got those two big-ass jars, I'll show you when the time comes, sitting on my counter with the flowers. One is going to be Cantatelli Beans, and the other one is going to be um, the Quinoa, right? And then I'm going to have my little brown jars with whatever I've got going that I'm wanting to use with Amari in terms of whatever it is. Right, because you know I'm working on his diet, right? With high high nutritional, as much organic as I can get foods, and uh, so the thing about cantatelli beans is they're um, they they help to control blood sugar, to prevent diabetes, right? And and to regulate to regulate blood sugar. But if you eat them too, too much, they become a food suppressant so that you don't eat much, as much as maybe you'd like to, so you could lose weight. So people can use this to lose weight because it's filling, right? But that's not what I'm trying to use it for. Uh, it blends well with other things as well, right? So that's just going to be the bean burgers, and it's handy, and it's, it's one of the more easier digestible... Um, beans that are high in a lot a lot of nutrients as well as it controls blood sugar and because amari tends to like sweet things right you know i have to, i'm adding extra honey or whatever right so i have to be careful right so this just brings in the balance to balance his blood that's basically what i'm doing so yeah that was how much was that look now, mind you, I didn't have to buy this, but now that I got it, and I know I have, I think I brought one jar up from downstairs, I think. Like I said, they got me so confused down there, it's pathetic. And, you know, things are missing that I'm really mad at that I can't find. And, and when I was down there working down there for those three days, right? When I was down there working for those three days, I'm going to put on me for a minute. I look like shit, I'm tired, but whatever. When I was working down there for those three days, I never really got a chance to get into that, that, uh, 
14 year old food storage area because that wasn't the focus see I got a headache right because that wasn't the focus <laughs> and then they told me to get the hell out of there because finish up fast and get the hell out and don't come back down for a couple of weeks because I was being intrusive and I'm like well whatever like I'm tired so don't worry about it I'm not coming down for a little while anyway and now that I want to go down there and you know check the jars and make sure everything's okay and you know do a um, a check on it in terms of what's there and what's available like I have canned pineapple that I could be using I have canned grapes that I could be using from the yard which I'm going to be canning grapes here because I bought some grapes and they didn't really get eaten up so they're you know they you know, just make a grape like they're seedless grapes from the grocery store and uh, you know they're okay for canning and then I bought yesterday a, another bag of fresh right um, red grapes seedless so I'm going to combine the two and I'm going to can those up in little jars because those are a good complement when I'm feeding him right and um, but I have canned grapes downstairs I have canned pineapple I have canned freaking ground pork ground beef all in that little area among other few other things that I can't get to because they put a fucking sewing fucking desk in front of everything and they moved everything around people like like I don't fucking get it I don't know why they keep holding my food fucking hostage here I, I had big boxes Andre likes pasta man you know he's eating macaroni all the time I have you remember in the old days you they don't sell them like they used to people you know a big box long like this right at least a foot long however long the spaghetti is right four inches high right all the way around that's a lot of fucking biscuit spaghetti right full all taped up nice everything and you know I had a couple of those I had another box full of fucking spaghetti bigger box full of fucking biscuit spaghetti and I can't see them people when I went down there and I looked around as much as I br could briefly they're fucking gone and like I'm so mad like every day I'm fucking mad because Andre is eating you know so much pasta that you know is this is the time and that stuff doesn't go bad okay it just really doesn't and if it gets that bad then you can throw it out but you know fucking that shit can last forever well not forever but for a long time and like what are they doing are they taking it camping with them and eating it at the fucking campsite with their fucking friends are they throwing it in the fucking garbage can are they leaving it for the homeless people to walk off with it are they what are they eating it themselves I don't know I just know that the few times I got to look around down there briefly I never noticed them I had big cans of uh, shortening oh they're old throw them out Fukushima days your mom's crazy forget about Fukushima just throw it out well you know what if the fucking hydro went out because of some windstorm that knocked down the power lines and we had no fucking hydro for a couple of weeks at worst at best maybe two months two weeks give you two fucking weeks without fucking hydro and see what you're gonna fucking do right you're gonna be looking for those old cans of fucking Crisco so that you can make yourself a damn candle not only so that you can see but you can keep yourself fucking warm okay when I lived at uh, Manjeet's house Manpreet or Manpreet or whatever the fuck her name was in that fourplex with the fucking grow up where I almost got electrocuted <coughs> and the city came in and shut everything down and, and there was no hydro at, in October with six the, the temperatures in the house were going down to 50 below like you know 50 degrees Fahrenheit not 50 below but 50 degrees Fahrenheit right had no hydro for like 11 12 days and right I'm running around with thermoses looking for hot water from wherever I could get it so I could take it back to John and Joan so that they could have something warm to, to drink right I had to take the kids out of the house I had to pay somebody to look after the kids because it was too fucking cold in there okay no lights nothing right 11 12 days people Killed all my fish, everything. Everything fucking died.
because the city cut the p power off at the pole in October, middle of October or whatever the hell it was. Yeah, okay, that that could happen here. What you, you gonna do? You, do you have anything to to keep me warm? Do you have any lights? Do you have a flashlight? Well, I don't know. You probably fucking threw it out, or maybe you fucking sold it, huh? Don't come to me crying that you're fucking you can't see shit and you you're cold when you're throwing out fucking old cans of Crisco, not realizing that oh well if you open it, chances are you could probably still fucking eat it, being that it's never been opened. But even if you couldn't, you know you can still use it to keep yourself warm, and have a little bit of light. Maybe you don't want it, but maybe the kids upstairs don't want to fucking freeze their asses off and sit in the dark. Maybe I wanted it. I paid for it. Those cans are like ten, twelve dollars a fucking can. Have I seen them downstairs? No. No. Like it's stupid. It makes me so angry, people. I sp Tisha's dad came over a few days ago to check up on, make everything sure, you know, right? Yeah, I'm okay. So he came inside, right? I said, I have to warn you, it's pretty cluttered right now because my son's been throwing out fucking everything for two fucking years already. Like, it hasn't stopped. Andre's 14 years old, wanting to play something with his friends. I bought a big bag of fucking baseballs, people. I got the mitts outside in a box right now because, you know, I bought Marcana mitt. I bought extra mitts for Mar Andre when he was younger. So I've got the baseball freaking mitts. I got the fucking bats, but Andre Marcane wouldn't take him out to the field to go play baseball. So I put the big bag of baseballs. Right, because, you know, you just toss and hit, toss and hit, toss and hit. <coughs> After you're done with the fucking bag of baseballs, you put your bat down and you run off and you pick up all your fucking balls and you come back. Right? Or if somebody, right? You know what I mean? I had a fucking huge bag. And I put it in that little fucking cubby that all of a sudden, well, I want it. Get out. Let me take everything out. We're just going to do it behind your back, right? You know, accuse you that you said that you could, we could do it. And fucking throw the, two of the balls. One was in the garage. One was outside in the fucking garbage pile. Where's the rest of them? They're taunting me. 14 years old. I have the mitts. I have the fucking bats. But I don't have the balls. Why? Why, people? Andre says, oh, don't worry, Nana, we'll just go out and buy more. I said, no, no that's not the point, Andre. You know, because he can play with Jude and Blake and his little friends off at the fucking park, right? He wants to do that kind of stuff. Like, it makes me angry. Why should I have to go out and spend another fucking $70 on stupid balls? Like, why? Why? My tug of rope are gone. I bet you they're not fucking where they're supposed to wall. They moved it. I don't know. I don't know what they fucking put underneath the stairs. Is that paper there? Is that fucking, uh, freaking wax? Huge big box of fucking wax. I got the wicks upstairs, everything. I'm good to go. I just don't have the time yet, right? Huh. I don't know. I don't have time to dig around. I told my son I want to go in there and look around. No, don't do that. You know, work on that first. And then when I work on that, now that you tell me to get the fuck out so you can block it off and keep me away from it? So you can sit up there and complain that I'm still buying? Yeah, okay. Fuck off. Seriously, man. Fuck off. Like, it's stupid. It's being done with vindictiveness. He came upstairs one time, people, eating kipper snacks. I don't know if I mentioned it. Right? And he was just eating a kipper snack. And I'm like, oh, you know, in my head, right? Anyway, honestly, I think those Kipper snacks that he was eating came from that brown wall unit that they busted off the fucking lock on. <laughs> That's what I had in there. That and other things that they fucking took out and put fucking t canned from 2015 year fucking canned tomatoes in there. And a big jar of just seaweed that is in, like, you know, chunks, right? Not 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 the plate kind that I just bought. Like a stupid. 
<coughs> oh yeah, so Tish's dad came here, you know, right, and uh, came inside, and he got my, oh my god, he says, you got hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff in here, Judy, because I told him what was going on, he said, get him out, kick him out, I said, he won't fucking leave, because it's cheap fucking rent, that's it, that's all it is, people. It's not because he loves me. It's not because he fucking cares about me. It's not because he cares and loves the fucking kids. Oh, yeah, he, he cares about Andre. But to what degree, really, when he's so fucking trashy about everything else around him? You, 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 you right? And what's the end game? You can't love one and hate the others. You can't love one and abuse the others. Right? But for whatever reason, this girl has convinced him that he can do that. And that it's okay. And they laugh and they think it and they giggle and they mock. And think it's fucking funny. Nothing fucking funny about it. So I said, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. That's not to mention the tens of thousands of fucking dollars that have already gone out to the wayside. Garbage. Sold off that I'll never know about. You've given to fucking as wedding presents to somebody, you know, tossed out onto the fucking road. Who knows? Like, who knows? Anyway. Now. We know that the pudding is only temporary. Because that's easy enough to make once you... If I had a better kitchen, life would be better. But I don't, so I have to work around it. I told Andre, we're on the last mile. I wish the fuck I could get off this stupid mile, but my son never fucking, you know, he's got that ball and chain with the whip on my fucking back with Marina on the other side with her ball and chain and the whip on the other side of my back on that fucking last mile, working me to fucking death, thinking they're going to cash in on the hundreds of thousands of dollars that's been acknowledged by, a, by somebody that has a fucking brain. And can see the value of what they're destroying. But why? Because you want me fucking dead. That's why. So you can cash in. It's a fucking payday for you. What other reason would there be? Because you're sure in the hell not being fucking helpful here. That's for sure. So that made me feel good when he acknowledged. Because I told him, like, and I'm going to at some point try and work on start selling off some of this stuff but I want Andre to learn right it's more for Andre's sake than mine <coughs> he goes yeah you'll get people will buy I said I know it's just a matter of getting organized right <laughs> but it just pisses me off because the hydro could go out like that winter's fucking coming you know and it's not fun sitting in the dark freezing your ass off right I don't, I don't have the privilege, well, I suppose the kids could go downstairs and sit by the fireplace, <clears throat> but it wouldn't be long before that fucking girl would be like, oh, they're be, it's being, in, they need to go back upstairs because they're getting on my nerves, I can't handle it, you know, it, it, this is my space, they shouldn't be here, why is your mom letting the kids be down here by the fireplace, it's sitting in the fucking dark, why can't they sit upstairs and use their own fireplace, you know? And my son will be, you know, you got a point. Get the fuck out of here. You're being intrusive. Take the kids with you. Better yet, you can leave the kids down here, but you can freeze your ass up upstairs, Mom. We'll keep the kids only because they're kids, but fuck you, Mom. That's what I'm dealing with, people. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of fucking thinking about it every fucking day. I'm, thinking, I'm sick and tired of waiting for the next whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whatever the fucking whoosh is coming my fucking way. You know? Because of that bullshit. Tisha's dad is looking for a place to fucking live, willing to pay $1,200 a month to be left to fucking loan and to have his own damn privacy, for the most part. I could rent that fucking place downstairs for $1,200 to a single fucking man. For as much as I go downstairs. But no. No. I gotta put up with this bullshit. Yeah. Waiting for what's gonna disappear next. So they can, ha I don't know. I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. I've never met people like this in my life, ever. And I sure in the fuck wouldn't have them around me. But I'm stuck with it by default of 
I suppose, DNA with my quote-unquote son, that man. Don't come talking to me. Why are you spending that kind of money? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe you should stop throwing out my shit. And maybe I'll stop spending fucking money. Because you make me a nervous fucking wreck. You make me feel fucking insecure in my own fucking house. I don't know what's safe anymore because of you and whatever that person is. Don't come to me with your... Oh yeah, eating these kipper snacks. Where did you get those from? I'd like to fucking know. Maybe it was you who busted that fucking lock. Maybe it wasn't her. Maybe it was him. I wouldn't be surprised with this sour, pissy fucking attitude. Why? It sat there for 14 fucking years. Oh, I suppose you just thought you deserved it, right? It was a crisis. You created the crisis, so you ate the fish. Is that it? Well, guess what, motherfucker? If you're watching my videos, motherfucker, I went off and I spent a hundred dollars on kipper snacks. And guess where they are? They're in my bedroom. They're not downstairs so that you can fucking raid them. No. No, what you gonna do? Get mad because mom spent a hundred dollars on her credit card for fucking kipper snacks as you're sneaking around eating them in the dark? Yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> right? Who's got time to think like that, people? I don't got fucking time to think like that. <laughs> I'm a mature 62-year-old fucking woman that raised five fucking idiots, okay? That want to call themselves adults now, basically, with two of them already fucking dead. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I've dealt with a lot of people in my life. 70% of the people that I've met in my life are fucking thieves. Some of them have that addiction worse than others. So this is nearly nothing new. It's just I can't get rid of these ones. In the past, I'd like, get out, get the fuck out of my house, you fucking thief. Get out, get out, get out. They'd be gone. But I can't do that with somebody that wants to purport themselves to be my quote-unquote fucking loving son. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. You're not a loving fucking son. I don't know what you are. I don't need to be worrying about cans at Crisco in the event of... I don't need to be worrying about sushi sheets because I replaced them. So fuck you. And I will continue to replace them. So fuck you. I don't I don't fucking care. I'm working my way out of this house. It's just a matter of fucking time. Yeah. Anyway, I struggle with it every day, every fucking day. So now that I've done this <coughs> with the juice, I bought five at $62. I'm going to start with the Amari's cookbook, okay? I have it around here. I, I got a new book. Where is it? Anyway, I brought out a book and put Amari's cookbook on it. It's on, the, it's on the toaster. Start fresh. And, uh... I'm gonna start a section called Monthly Budgets. For staples. Monthly Budgets for staples. Right? And depending on what your staples are... So I bought $62 worth of organic prune juice. Uh, depending on how often I want to give it to him. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you that. I wanted to show you I wanted to show you why I buy it and why I don't mind it uh, in terms of nutrients um, I mean everybody has a budget so they have to go in with their budget we always know I'm sticking my neck out with my credit cards but whatever that's besides the point um, That would be considered a month that that would fall under that monthly budget. So 
So if I'm planning to uh, bring the grocery, do grocery bill down to $100 a month in general, I should not be including that prune juice because that prune juice would suck it up and there would be no money for groceries. <clears throat> and the only reason I can bring it down to $100 a month is because I have been doing food prep. And for as much as they're throwing out, I still have a, to work. I still have enough to work around. Plus, I've been putting up stairs, which I don't necessarily like. But you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, so we're going to end it on this, which is a good, good note in terms of you know, I'm trying, right? So I'm going to read why I buy it. And it's really good for Amari. He really likes it. How long five jars are going to last me? I don't know. Right? Because we give it to him regularly. And, um... What do you call it? I give it two weeks. Pushing into three. All right. So, for one cup, which he'll drink ASAP, 200 calories, that's good. That's really good. What's even better, if you notice the ingredients, where's my finger? There it is. Organic prune juice. That's it. Now, this is what encourages me. Calcium. Not too concerned about the calcium, but it's 4%. Iron is 13%. We've got the uh, riboflavin, or whatever you pronounce that, 15%. We've got the niacin at 13%. And we've got the vitamin B6 at 37%. That's really good. Not to mention other things. As well as, it's high in fiber, apparently. Yeah. It's high in fiber. Where did I read that? Product description, maybe? Anyway, doesn't say anything. Maybe it's on the jar. This actually has fiber in it. I think I read it on the jar. Right? So it has a bit of pulp in it. And when they come in, I'll show you. As I'm canning my little jars of turkey to bring in the extra protein. See? It's only... 946 mils. It's so small. But he really likes it. So five jars, you know, at the rate that we're going, isn't going to go very far. But that would fall under my monthly budget. Right? And of course, once I get a little more, um, there's other, I have other prunes I can give them too. So I don't have to give them this as much as I have been. I can use other, like, like, prunes and whatever. I also have my own canned stuff downstairs that I can't get to. Whatever. I canned plums for quite a few years there. and That's what was in the 14-year-old's food storage area. <clears throat> in that wall unit that they now moved, they moved it. And then they put her stuff in front of my... whatever. It's just stupid. It's fucking stupid. When I was her age, I didn't do shit like that. I had my little teeny weeny spot for sewing, and I fucking dealt with it. I didn't go into people's houses and just start fucking destroying their house so I could take it over with my fucking sewing. Like, seriously, man. Like, I've never met a person like this in my life. She uses my son as a tool. My son accuses me of using him as a tool? No, she uses him as a tool to be a fucking bully and to terrorize me. 
That's what she does. Because she knows that, you know, he'll stick up for her, right? Because he's trying to keep her quote-unquote happy because quote-unquote he loves her. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Anyway. End of this video, right? Just, it is what it is.